Now, one of the things that I'm the most excited about, all field passes in Madden 23 will be free. free. Some items used in sets will now return directly back into your item binder as BND. So that's pretty cool. So even if you use an item in a set, you can still get the player back that you can use. EA, they really deserve a lot of credit for some of these changes. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Chiefs as always. Got a Madden 23 video for you guys today. A lot of information just became official and was released from EA. Uh, a lot of it based around Madden Ultimate Team. And this is something that I know a lot of people that watch my channel to play Ultimate Team are going to be very interested in because there's a lot of new systems, a lot of new rewards, a lot of really good improvements. So I really wanted to make a video about this because, to be honest with you, I was to a point. If you've been watching my gameplay videos lately, it's mostly been like regs, uh, mostly because it's just much just felt like it was too money driven and it was to a point where it just felt too predatory and i got to the point where i just wasn't really enjoying the game mode anymore this the, the a lot of the updates i'm going to talk about today in today's video really seem like they're getting away from that it really seems like they're going to try to have more pathways to free to play uh, Madden Ultimate Team, or at least it won't be to a point where it, it, it's just so expensive and it just seems like it's all about money, money, money. So I'm gonna go over a lot of new features. As <laughs> always, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the video. The first thing I'm gonna go over here is a new system called Field Pass. So I'm gonna go and read the description. It says, a new feature in Madden 23 will be the addition of Field Passes. If you ever played a game like Fortnite, Call of Duty, or Rocket League, then you're probably familiar with a Battle Pass Consider the field pass to be Madden's version of a battle pass. As you earn XP and make progress on your field pass, you will earn rewards. All field passes in Madden 23 will be free, and there will be three different types. Let's check out the three different types of field passes below. Now, this is the one thing I want to bring up when I before I move forward. It says all field passes in Mutt 23 will be free. Now, there, you could read between the lines there, and to me, if they're introducing a new system... They're not going to shoot themselves in the foot and introduce a new system and then charge you right away. I feel like eventually field passes will either cost money or they'll have a tier. They might start off slow and have a tier that you have to pay for where the rewards are that much better. You can, Like I said, it says all field passes in Mutt 23 will be free. It doesn't say in Mutt will be free, meaning it will be free forever. It's probably just going to be free for this year, and then you're going to slowly see them backward, you know, work that into be some sort of pay system. There's no guarantee of that. I just know EA. Now, Seasons in Mutt 23 will last approximately 60 days or roughly two months. And with each new season comes a new field pass. Each season pass will contain 60 levels of rewards, including coins, packs, uniforms, and player items. Complete the objectives outlined by the season pass to make progress and unlock your rewards. New objectives will be added to the pass periodically throughout the season. So this season pass might be the most popular. If you like to do uh, challenges and stuff like that, or you really just kind of a casual uh, mutt player, this might be the most popular one if I had to guess. Uh, next up, we have the competitive pass. Now, the competitive pass is geared towards online head-to-head -head stuff. So the second type of field pass in Mutt 23 will be the competitive pass, which contains objectives that can be completed in competitive modes such as solo battles, head-to-head -head seasons, squad seasons, and Mutt champions. Uh, which used to be called Weekend League. We'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, rewards will include coins, packs, and a new featured player every two weeks. So this one here, if you really just like to play online competitive modes, this one's clearly going to be the best for you. Me personally, I hate doing solos and stuff like that. The last one is called the Program Pass. Major programs in Madden 23 will come with a program-specific field pass that includes even more rewards to earn as you engage with the latest Mutt program. At launch, headliners will be the first program specific field pass of the year. So this makes, to me, this looks like, I'm not really sure what to, what to say about program pass, but it seems to be specifically geared towards one specific set of either, um, you know, things that you accomplish, like milestones, which is what the picture is accompanying with it, or it's something where it's like, you know, maybe a certain set of challenges will be specifically based. Now, one of the things that I'm the most excited about is the changes that came to Mutt Champions. Weekend League is now called Mutt Champions in Madden 
Ultimate Team 23, and it comes with a few changes as well. Check out some of the key changes below. Now, the number one change for me was the time constraint. There's no more time constraint. This is going to be something that's, you know, you, we, everybody knows you play weekend league. you got three days or four days to complete 25 games. That's kind of ridiculous. Who wants to force, you know, 25 games into their weekend? If you have kids that go to school or if you have a wife that works, this may be the time that you get to spend with your family. So to me, it was always kind of ridiculous to think that I could just jam 25 games of Madden into my weekend, especially with football. I mean, if you're a football fan, you got college football, NFL uh, football on Sundays. It just didn't make sense. So now you can play this throughout the entire week. It'll reset every Monday, which is much better considering that, you know, people have a life. Thank you, EA. It says champ entry tokens grant access to much champions and can be earned by making progress on a competitive field pass. So what that says to me is you probably don't have to go through the knockout tournament anymore. You probably just have to earn your way in uh, by earning tokens by playing regular com competitive uh, player modes. It says rewards for Mutt Champions will appear instantly after your games in Mutt 23. No more waiting till Tuesday, which is really cool as well. So you'll get rewards right away. That just makes the most sense to me as well. I mean, that's one of the benefits to playing challenges, even though they're boring. You at least get some things to build your team with right away. So really good additions there. Like I said, for Ultimate Team players, I really like some of the additions they're making. Obviously, they're doing this so that you can get your rewards quicker and, you know, just much better. Now, they have a new thing for sets. They call it Sets 2.0. Sets in Mutt 23 have been streamlined compared to sets in previous years. Sets can now be accessed from directly inside of your binder, which is huge, allowing you to complete them much easier and take advantage of filters when looking for specific items. Now, I'm going to break this down halfway. That's that's great. The fact that you can go, you can should be able to do everything in your binder, to be honest with you. There's enough clicking and enough changing screens and enough loading time and all this stuff that it really takes a long time a lot of times to complete sets. While completing sets, your lowest cost unused and non-favorite items can be highlighted to help you add the right items as well. Some items used in sets will now return directly back into your item binder as BND or account bound, which is the new way of saying uh, NAT. So there's no NAT anymore. Now it says BND, meaning they can no longer be collected, auctioned or traded but can still be used on the field or quick sold for reduced training. Be sure to check set descriptions to see if your items will be returned as BND or not. So that's pretty cool. So even if you use an item in a set, you can still get the player back that you can use. So that's pretty cool. Like it's, it's something where you get to have your cake and eat it too, essentially. You can use a player and then you don't lose them on top of it. I mean, how cool is that? So that's something once again, I mean, EA, they really deserve a lot of credit for some of these changes. Next section is competitive play. The following changes have been made to competitive game modes. Solo battles, really boring by the way. Solo battles is like the stupidest thing ever. I don't know who still plays this, but it says games refresh daily, which means that you don't have like the same four teams. Like you always go into your solo battles, you have four options of teams to play. It's gonna change every day. So if you don't play it that day, the next you're gonna have four different teams. Head to head seasons. Rewards will be earned instantly once again with competitive field pass. The number of games in a season will be eight, and there will be a total of six divisions. Mud Draft, this is something that was one of my favorite modes not too long ago, and it says that they've changed this quite a bit. It says ranked mode has been removed to create a healthier matchmaking pool, which basically means not a lot of people are playing it anymore, so there's no real reason to have two different types. Then it says more regular updates to the draft pool throughout the year. I mean, last year they abandoned it completely, so it's hard. It's not hard to go up from zero. Uh, salary cap mode has been removed, which makes sense. They don't even really uh, use that anymore. Now, next section, player items. Starter team overalls have been raised compared to previous years. So that means that when you hop on, I think usually you get a bunch of bronze players and your team's like lower than 70. I guess they're saying that your your overall team is gonna be higher than that to start. Hopefully it's above a 70. I mean, I know me, typically when I would go through all the packs that I get when I buy the, the early version or the more expensive version, uh, I typically get my team up just through those packs alone to like a 75. It'd be nice to start in that area. But uh, yeah, it'd be it's gonna be nice that they're not you know making you start from a from a dirt grub team of like bronze players. That sounds like a, a real adjust. I mean, get rid of 
of bronze players entirely. How about that? And just let you start with silver and gold. I think even silver is kind of stupid, but it is what it is. Even if that's it, that's a much better start. Uh, the number of power-ups in MUT 23 have been significantly reduced. Yeah, power-ups are stupid, to be honest with you. Like, I really, when they came out with that system, I guess it was cool, but it's to a point now where it's like, I get power-ups, I don't even want to use them, especially because of the way that they constantly recycle, um, they restart your levels now every two months, which it sounds like. You're getting, like, power, at this point, you're getting a power-up players that don't even help you. Like, power-ups that are, like, 92, and your team's, like, a 98 overall. It's like, what are you going to do with that? Your team's already built. You're going to go back through and remove it, and, and you know, just makes no sense. So, power-up players, to me, are kind of dumb. I'm glad to hear they're going to be uh, reducing that. Uh, lower overall elite players will receive ability buckets pertaining to their archetype. Now, I haven't really heard an explanation of what ability buckets are. Um, there's all different types of currencies in MUT, uh, and it changes throughout the year. I mean, you get, like, snowflakes and candy and all kind of stuff. So it's I don't know if this is going to be something similar. It says higher overall players will receive custom ability buckets with unique features like discounted AP or abilities from a different archetype. Now, like I said, I don't know what ability buckets are, but I do know based off of that, it's going to make sense. I typically, when I try to build my team, I try to buy guys that will last a long time and it looks like here if you choose a lower ability player it, it doesn't have as many benefits if you get a if you save up for a higher ability player then you're gonna get things like discounted ap and stuff like that which just makes it more sense to skip the low the low tier players i would imagine so that's going to be something we'll figure out in, in time most elite players will have a team chemistry bucket that allows you to equip team chemistry for any team the player has played for during a regular season or playoff game traditional purple power-ups are gone oh my god i didn't even read that they're gone which is really nice i mean this entire system makes it sound like training is almost all but gone i guess training maybe that's what the buckets are maybe they maybe they got rid of training and now it's going to be buckets because that's what it sounds like next up we got strategy items which is a new uh thing added to madden last year i thought strategy items were pretty cool i like some of the quick sell values like certain certain ones you would get would get you like fifty thousand coins quick sell which to me was almost uh, you know better than the actual training items themselves it says a pain point for many players in mutt 22 especially early on was getting the right strategy items in an effort to improve the system, the following improvements have been made to strategy items in Madden 23. No speed boosts appear on any core strategy item, which obviously will, you know, that was always the most valuable. So that being gone, um, I guess that's cool. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, there's definitely ways to, uh, to, to pump up your team really quick with that. Three total strategy item slots. Offense, defense, and a new affinity strategy slot. Now, I don't know what that means. What that means? Team affinity. I guess that well, team affinity typically is like uh, based off of what team you're running. So, like me, if I'm running an all Eagles team, uh, maybe there's something specific to the Eagles that's a strategy item. I really don't know. New ways to acquire strategy items include earning from the field pass pack offers in the store, and most importantly, strategy items in Mutt 23 will be auctionable which I think is pretty cool. I was just about to say that when it comes to the team affinity strategy slot, that sounds like something that'll be a very highly auctionable thing if it's based off of individual teams because there's 32 different teams. Think of it like playbooks. A lot of times when the game come out, you can buy and sell playbooks and create playbooks and sell them to try to get your coins up. I would imagine that this is going to be a very good method for that. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think as well. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.